Well, tonight at 6, buying school supplies every year can be a financial burden for some parents, but it can also be an even bigger financial challenge for their teachers. News 8's Alec Janikopoulos is here to show us how many teachers are paying out of their pocket for the new school year. Mike and Martha, 44% of teachers spend $250 or less on their classes. That's according to a study by the National Center of Education Statistics. With school just getting started last week, some teachers are spending even more to get their students off on the right foot. Boys and girls, today's book a day is called Fireboat, and it's called The Heroic Adventures of the John J. Harvey. Fourth grade teacher Mindy Carlisle reads a book to her class every day. And then we're keeping track of them on these pink boards. So the thinking behind it is that how can kids become good writers if they don't hear good stories? And the entire city sprang into action. But the book the kids hear every day, more often than not, is supplied by Mindy. Our teachers were given $350 for books, but as you can see from my library, it's much more expansive than that. I spend a lot of money on books so that kids that are coming from homes that don't have books have the ability to check out books from my library. But it's not just books. School supplies for students who couldn't bring their own, decorations, and visual learning guides all have a cost. It's really probably very easy to spend between $500 and $1,000 a year out of your own pocket. There is always a need. School principal Todd Sainer feels that more state funding can limit the amount spent by teachers. So I think, yeah, whatever we can do to, to, to bolster um, our funding is, is certainly to the advantage of our students and our families. It comes as no surprise that we're not well paid, and I think a lot of young teachers are really struggling to make ends meet on their own, so any little bit helps. The class finished their book today. <laughs> and that's the end. And for now, finding tomorrow's book will be up to Mindy's budget. Good question. We're going to have to find the answer to that. And a correction, that study showed that at least 44% of teachers spent $250 on their classes. But the Onalaska School District sees a couple ways for additional funding. They use funding from the Onalaska Education Foundation's Act of Kindness program to buy school supplies, and they also have a charitable parent-teacher organization where some parents can purchase extra supplies for less fortunate students. All right, thanks a lot, Alec. If you would like to support Onalaska schools, you can donate to the foundation at the website there on the bottom of your screen.